Hello everyone, my name is Anton and today I want to get into this application called IA Writer and specifically I'm going to stick to the Android device here and I'm on my phone. Uh, IA Writer is supported on multiple platforms so you can get this on Android as I am right now, iOS, Windows and also Mac. It is a free uh, download from the Google Play Store, but they have some add-in purchases that you can enable in here to connect to Dropbox and also the Google Drive. But before I get into the video, go ahead and like and subscribe to the channel. I really appreciate it and it helps the channel out and helps these videos get to other individuals like yourself. So if we go ahead and open up the application, we're in the library view. It really just gives us a, a list of the different areas where you can store or get to files and your data. The device specific areas here are pretty straightforward. You click on these. These are going to folders on your actual device and you can create files in these folders as such. and you can use Markdown as you're creating your files. Above the keyboard, you are presented with some keys here to quickly um, add the heading, italicize, uh, add bullets, go from right to left, you can copy and paste, and you can also undo and redo things here from those quick, quick keys above the keyboard. If we click into the, the app here, we can see the menu bar at the top there, it has the back arrow, the search. You can add, click the add button here to add another file. You also have the shared button here. So you can share this file or export the, the file itself. And you can export the plain text, HTML, PDF, and also Microsoft Word. If we click on the three dots here. We can change a couple different settings. They have the preview mode here. Um, you have night mode. If we click on night mode, it changes from light to dark. If we go into focus mode, let's go back to a document that has at least something in it. And if we go into focus mode here, when we go to type, we can see it puts the cursor in the middle of the actual page so that you can get that typewriter type feel when you're typing in your document. You also see how it kind of grays out the line that you're not typing on as well. So if we click there on a different line, you can see the top is a little bit more grayed and the bottom is grayed out from the line that you're actually working on. So it helps you focus on that one specific line that you're working on. If we go out of focus mode, we have the word count. So if we click in the document here, let's see if we can get it to come up here. But it's a little hard to kind of get it to work here, but when you have the word count on, what will happen is when the this bar disappears and there doesn't seem to be a way to move it out of the way, you'll see the actual amount of words, characters uh, that are in this particular file. You also have the settings here when you're in a document. Now, what's a little weird here is that if we go back out of the document and we're just sitting in one of the folders within our library, you hit settings or the, the three dots here. You get some things here where you can sort or, or change the, the look and feel of the view here, but you don't get the settings button. Same thing at the root of the library here. If we go back into this file, open it up, Let's go into settings and this allows you to set some of the things for this particular document or this um, for the application. Now you have some of the general settings here where you can do swiping. You can set up a pin. You can log into an account there, change the font size, some of the keyboard extension here, and you can also configure uh, medium.com and you can set up WordPress connectivity. So if you have any of your, your, your Medium token from here, you can export to 
your your medium site or page and the same with WordPress now what about if you're using um, Dropbox or Google now these are paid items I've paid for the uh, the application here and they have two models where at the time of this this video if you pay for the year it's $4.99 and that's on a subscription so every year you would have to pay $4.99 or you can pay $29.99 and the application is is basically bought out you own it now I have both Dropbox and Google Drive here connected so let's click into the Dropbox area one thing that I noticed right off the bat with Dropbox is that it only shows me two of the folders that are in my Dropbox uh, directory. Now I have many more folders that are there, and I, but I cannot see them. Also what I've noticed is that if I do a search on a file, I can find files that are in my Dropbox uh, vault that do not show up in that list. So if I click on this particular file here, I know that this file is not in one of the folders that are showing above. If I go back on the search, it still only shows me these two, two different uh, folders. Now, if you're using Obsidian, what you could do here is put your Obsidian vault inside of the apps folder. And probably in the apps folder, and particularly it shows all the app folders here so you probably won't have to put it directly in the IA writer folder but you will need to put it in a folder that's viewable from Dropbox on your iWriter app this might only be an issue with with me and my account but if you're having the same issue I, I'd like to know and if others are seeing this same problem here with Dropbox and the the showing of all the folders within the directory now once you're in here as i mentioned you can get to your obsidian vault uh, here's one of my vaults right here test vault and if i go into one of the folder the files everything comes up you can view it you can edit it the look and feel is is really nice the font selection here is good you can customize the font you can customize the size you can you can swipe uh, back and forth here to get to back to your list or back to the file if we swipe over again we can get to the preview and from the preview we can also go ahead and share the file out or you can change the font here what I've noticed is you cannot select or manipulate any of the the check boxes here so if you want to change the status of these checkboxes, you're going to have to be in the edit mode. Now let's look at the Google Drive support. So now we're going to go into Google Drive and in Google Drive right off the bat, every file and folder in my Google Drive does show up here. So there, the benefit to having the, this working with Google Drive is that you have more access to all the files in your Google Drive where on the Dropbox you do have access to those files at least from what I've seen but you have to remember the name of the file and get to it via search here you can vis visually navigate throughout the folder structure and get to your same files so if we go back to this daily template this is the same file that we had on the Dropbox everything opens up just like it should one other way that you can get to files within AI writer is that you can also do the open from so if you do the open from you can get to your local files on your device one thing is that it only opens up a file at a time so like on some of the other applications you cannot browse your folder structure from AI writer and add in say a specific folder into your library here it does not give you that option so you're stuck with the folder layout or directory layout that's presented to you here in the library this is somewhat of a downer um, i wish they'd open this up a bit more so you can add in your own folders especially if you're going to pay for dropbox and google 
uh, maybe that could be a paid option to where you can add in your own local folders within this library space here. Okay, so that was a quick walkthrough of IA Writer on Android. The application is pretty minimal. The UI is very clean. Everything looks really good here. The Dropbox support needs some work because it only shows certain folders here. It doesn't show the entire Dropbox directory. And if you're paying for this particular feature and it's the only thing you need, then this would be a bummer here. And it definitely would not be worth the money to pay for the extra feature if you only have Dropbox. Now, on the other hand, if you do have Google Drive support, this works pretty well and you'd probably be really happy using IA Writer for your markdown files. Okay, if you found this video helpful, go ahead and like the video, subscribe to the channel, and until the next time, have a nice day.